Oh man, this just has not been a good week for the sport. Real quick, I know I've been gone for several months. Look, I've just been busy. I just don't have the passion to upload any YouTube videos because of my schedule. I've been doing some other things, but this story got me in the mood to make time to make this video. So, alright. <sighs> Where do I begin? Alright, so finally, we all know Chase Elliott Sunday finally got his first win, which I was very happy about. And it, se it seemed like it was going to be all positive, a big positive week for NASCAR. It's what NASCAR wanted. It was what the sport needed. The next, probably last superstar since Gordon Nadell Jr. to fill in the shoes. Chase Elliott finally gets his first win after a great race, after he beat uh, Martin Truex, the defending champ. And... 17 hours later, after Chase crossed the finish line for, uh, for his first win, the dumbass in charge, CEO of the sport for NASCAR, Brian France, arrested for DUI and drug possession. How, what a horrible week to do this. Alright, so my first initial thought when I saw this uh, ha uh, came in the news the other day was one, I'm not surprised, and two, now I know where you occasionally at uh, what you call, uh, occasionally do during a race and why you're not at the track one that's freaking ignorant to not represent your sport and during Chase Elliott it happened around 7.30 if I'm not mistaken I don't know, remember what time the race got finished it was like 6 or whatever and Chase is probably doing his media interview and all that shit he's all fucking getting fucked up at the Hamptons in New York and getting arrested and spent the night in jail and Monday morning he was released and uh, I guess he has a court date on sometime next month I'm not sure um now I was gonna go off okay 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 first off he's gotta go Brian France you know in the past press conference you know he it seemed like he didn't want to be there you know he j we all question about does he really want to be the CEO of the sport because he just answered like blatant questions like you know what do you think of the poor ratings and the poor uh, attendance? Uh, we're doing great. You know, it's like he doesn't even want. And you guys recall my last video back in December when I called him out during, um, after he disrespectfully gave, uh, just threw uh, Truex championship ring and just walked off the st uh, stage without shaking his hand or anything. I was like, what is wrong with Brian France? Does he have some kind of problem or whatever? Does he, like, not want to be the CEO of the sport? Then just back, step down, and have someone who wants to. It doesn't have to be a France family. If it has to be a France family, then so be it. And now we know. So let me just be nice for a second. Ryan France, let me ask you nicely. Can you please leave the sport? This is the last straw. We need you gone. You're killing the sport. And go get help. I wish you nothing but the best. Get help. Go to rehab and, you know, go to rehab. Now I want to know what Jeremy Mayfield has to think about all this. <laughs> get some help as a person, but please get out of the sport. I don't, we don't, nobody wants you here. We're just asking you nicely. Leave the sport now and have somebody else take over. Now, uh, Jim France, the uncle, Brian France, or the France, whatever, or Bill France Jr., whatever. I can't, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't have all the information in front of me. He's going to uh, take over uh, Brian Francis' spot, the CEO, for now. And from what I understand, he will be uh, at the uh, race this weekend at MIS. And uh, I don't think there's going to be a press conference or anything or wh whatever, but he will be at the track uh, this weekend. Um, now, I was going to go off on uh, Brian Francis and all this shit, but... I just got done watching a video uh, by David Land. I'll put he made a, several great points. I see some other videos of people going off on Brian France, like uh, Real Radman, uh, and some other uh, folks out there who made uh, good points. But David Land, uh, Land, I'll put his video in the description for you guys to check it out. But he made some good points, and I never once thought of this at, at the, the many years. Real for, but first off, this is going to be a bad, bad look for the future in the next coming years for NASCAR. Sponsors are probably going to leave. You know, the sponsors who were thinking, I'm just going to paraphrase what he says. Sponsors that want, who are interested in coming into the sport, if there's any sponsors, they're going to think twice or they're probably just going to be back out at the last second. 
five hundred energy, for example. And I can see I understand why Monster Energy took so long to get a deal done. It's only going to be a one year extension deal, and it's going to be less after we saw a few months ago that they were going to stick around for one more year instead of signing another long term contract. And you know the people behind Brian France. This is where he made some really good points. Who was, who was in charge of keeping Brian France under control? Like, do you guys knew? You guys had to know that Brian France has some issues. Now I know you guys are public. You know you guys want to keep things uh, private and all that shit. But you guys had to know what he was doing during the race. He's out getting fucked up. He's driving drunk. He's putting everyone's lives at risk who are out pedestrians at risk while he's driving fucking drunk. And his uh, alcohol is two times the fucking legal limit. And not only in at the cherry on top, he has a fucking drug possession on him. But... Do I think Brian Francis is going to leave? I think he has to. I mean, from what I understand, he may be forced to step down, but, I, you know, we all had to say, I might, my first initial thought, okay, if he leaves, that's going to make everything better, but according to Dave Land, he made some really good points. It's the people behind him as well, and they're still there. So it's not just Brian Francis, it's the people behind him as well. So, yes, I agree, the next coming years, we're going to see more sponsors leaving. We're going to see less money coming in. Rating is going to keep going down. And attendance is probably going to keep going down. And more seats are going to get going down. And I see... Unless Sir Jim Mutter, if he sticks around as the CEO, if he's going to permanently take the spot, which I don't think he will. And I think he even made a comment saying, I'm not taking the spot. You know, I guess we'll have to see. But, yeah, I agree. The, the Lex... The next few years is going to be a punching bag for NASCAR. They're just going to get punched, punched, punched. Rain's going to go down. And this is just a horrible week, too. I mean, Chase Elliott finally, finally gets his first win. The next, probably last superstar of the sport. And instead of, you know, Ch you know Google NASCAR, Chase Elliott finally gets his first win after a great race. Instead, you see the man of the sport in charge arrested during the freaking media after the post-race media gets arrested and spends the night in jail for DUI and drug possession yeah so I don't know I Brian Francis got to go but I don't think it's gonna ha you know fix everything but I, I agree with David Land again I'll put his video in the description for you guys to check it out it's gonna be rough it I mean I don't know. It's lucky they got that TV deal uh, with NBC and Fox. I mean, the next few years. So when they uh, had that big contract uh, back in I think 2013, whatever it started, or 15. I'm sorry. And it's probably gonna expire. What 2022, something like that. 24. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's probably not gonna get uh, renewed. So what do you guys have to uh, say about this? I know I'm all over the place, but. I feel like I had to make a video about this, so. Alright, I'll catch you later, guys. You have a good day.